My wife and I moved to Baltimore when Shannon was only three months old, and she was about a year and a half when I got diagnosed with cancer again. The day that I realized that I was probably going to have to go through cancer treatment again, but didn't know what that treatment was going to be with a one and a half year old little girl was really scary. Hopewell for me has been a place where I could come and be heard by people as I go through this difficult time in my life, but also it's a place where I've been able to come and listen to people and learn from their experience as well. I was running on the treadmill and I get a call at about seven o'clock at night from my doctor, my endocrinologist, and he said, well, we thought it was nothing, but it's something. My journey with cancer would have been so different without Hopewell. They really help you to confront some of the things that are difficult, and they do it in a community in a way that embraces as opposed to pushes you out to the side. I've been dealing with this phenomena of cancer for six years now. I was doing chemo and radiation every day, so that became my life. So Hopewell was kind of a ah, moment. But it's one of those places that you know, it's kind of peculiar to the Baltimore region. You know, right off the main drag you can find these respites that are quite green and in, in, in some ways kind of remote off the beaten track. That sort of little place of respite, you know, away from, from the noise, I like that. I have been able to experience my own growth and in dealing with cancer and seeing other people's lives. And I don't think I would have been able to do that if I hadn't been at Hopewell. Hope matters. Hope matters. Hope matters. And hope well matters.